Hi guys, so I'm so annoyed watching YouTube tutorials doing the Muda Masa effect or the Nishika effect where there's a parallax movement that's really trippy and three-dimensional and everybody makes it so complicated using Photoshop, going back here, going back there. Look, I'm just going to show you how to do it in less than five minutes in Premiere as simply as possible because it's really not that difficult. Now the first thing you need to do obviously is take the actual photographs. And the way to take the photographs is you want to be on continuous drive mode high. So you want to be able to shoot a lot of pictures at once, whatever your camera can handle. Now you only need four or five, even four is good, four or five pictures. Make sure that your model stays relatively still. Some people say stay completely still. I don't mind a bit of movement, but make sure that when you grab the camera, you start here and you move in a semi-circular fashion. So you go tack, 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 and that's it. So if you're my subject, I'm going to start with the camera here and I'm going to go tuk, 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 and I'm going to do an arc in a semi-circular fashion, okay? So now let's get cracking. It's already been a minute. Here are my images. I've already dropped them. I've set uh, this sequence up to be uh, 1280 by 1600. So it's a 4-5 ratio for Instagram. So I need to now shorten these up to two frames. So the easiest thing is to select all of these. Press, press Control R for the clip duration. You need to uh, unlock this and you need to change this to two frames. So let's put two frames there and make sure you click Ripple Edit. And there you go. Here are all of them and make sure that they're in order, otherwise it's not going to work. Now these photographs I took for a, uh, for a music video that I did and I incorporated the Muda Masa effect. So as you can see, I've done that arch, but the camera is actually moving. Now we're going to have introduce the Muda Masa effect and it's as simple as this, okay? We're two minutes into this video. Grab the second photograph and place it above the first, okay? Like so. Bring down the opacity to somewhere around 67%, 50%, just so that you can see the bottom layer. Zoom in and now mark something as your reference. So I'm going to use this button here as my reference. I click here on motion. This allows me to move the top layer and I'm going to align as best as possible. I'm even going to zoom in a little bit more. I'm going to align as best as possible right there, right there. Done. Put the opacity back up to 100. Grab the next layer, drag it on top. Lower the opacity, somewhere around 50, 60, so you can see it. Click here on motion. Move this guy and align it. Put the opacity back up to 100. Grab the next guy, drag on top, drop the opacity somewhere. Click on the motion and move the, so that you can click it. Black opacity back up to 100. Grab the next layer. Opacity goes down. Click on motion and align it to your reference point. Your reference point could be anything that helps you see what you're doing. Bring down the opacity, so the eye, the belly button, any marker that will help you around the center will do. Okay, done, back up to 100. Grab the next guy, do the same thing. Bring the opacity down, down to 50, 60. Move this so that you can align. There you go, right there. Opacity goes back to 100. Last layer, bring down the opacity so I can see what I'm doing. Click on the motion and align it. There we go. Once that's done, oops, click the opacity back to 100. Now all you need to do is put all these layers back, like so. Once all your layers are back, I now need to loop them. And in order to loop them, all I'm going to do is work my way in a loop. So if this is my last clip, then the next one I want it to be is this one. After this one is this one, after this one I'm just pressing Alt so that I'm copying and then I'm dragging them, okay? So this is number three, number two, and number one. Now I need to go in the other direction, so after number one would go number two, and so on. So I can just grab here number two, drag them, and it's looped. And there you go, guys. Here's your Muramasa. Bring this down so we can see what we're doing and check it out. Boom. There's your Muramasa. Done. Okay, here's another example. Uh, we're going to use anything we want as a reference. Let's use the D on the Ford Mustang as a reference to a line. So let's zoom in. Let's bring this over here. And this is what I'm going to be looking at, this D over here. Okay, so we're going to do exactly the same thing. Here are my Muramasas, all my uh, photographs. So I take the uh, first one and I drag the second layer on top of the first one. I reduce the opacity of the top layer and I click on motion right here and I'm going to align that D like so. Bring the opacity back up to 100. Drag the next guy, put him on, whoops. Drag the next guy, put him on top. Lower the opacity so we can see what we're doing. Click on motion and align that D. Done. Opacity back up to 100. Click on the next guy, drag him on top. 
lower the opacity, click on motion, align it to the D. Opacity goes back up to 100. Click on the next guy. Lower the opacity, click on motion, align them. Opacity back up to 100, grab my last guy. Opacity down, click on motion, align my piece, and opacity back up to 100. Put all of them back down onto one layer. And now I want them all to be two frames, and I want to do that quickly. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to select all of them, press Control R so I get my clip in duration, unlock, click on here duration, put this on zero, and two frames. So there's my two frames, and make sure you've got ripple edit selected. Boom, there are my Muramasas, guys. Now, I need to loop them. So if this is number one, this is number two, three, one, two, three, four, five, and six. I'm going to put this one over here, number five, number four, number three, number two, and number one. I'm just pressing Alt and Copy. Now, after number one, it's going to become number two and all the rest of them. So I can just grab number two, drag him like so, and I can do it again if I want to do three loops. You can do as many loops as you want. Go nuts. Here we go. Drop this down so you can see what you're doing. And there's your Muramasa, guys.